And now I'd like to introduce Councillor Krista Adams. <laughs> Glorious introduction by Rosemary. Thank you, Rosemary. <laughs> She's wound me up all night. I'm going to introduce you. And my name is Krista. And it's lovely to be here tonight. This is my fifth year at the Matilda Awards and it is so fantastic to be here at the Brisbane Powerhouse. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet here this evening, those with us and those past. To Melissa and Dash, who've done a wonderful job tonight hosting. Um, to my state colleagues, Di Farmer, member uh, for Bulimba. Steve Minikin here as well, member for Chatsworth. Thank you very much for coming tonight. Deb Wilkes, chair of the Matilda Executive Committee. To Chris Stewart, give him a round of applause. Fantastic work tonight as Artistic Director. Um, I'd like to thank my colleague, Councillor Matthew Burke, who is the Chair of Lifestyle and Community Services and does look after everything creative in Brisbane who has joined us here tonight. And of course, my fantastic introducer, Rosemary Walker, for the great, fantastic work that she does as Executive Producer for the Matilda Awards as well. As I said, this is... They're still trying to steal my thunder as it's going around the back. This is my fifth Matilda Awards and we're very excited to be here about honouring and celebrating the achievements of Queensland theatre industry over the past year. Um, it is all about creative and entertainment and performance sector and we know it is rapidly growing in Brisbane and we've heard that from all our uh, honoured uh, recipients tonight time and time again and I have to say on behalf of Brisbane City Council it is our vision that we infuse creativity and arts into all aspects of Brisbane's culture and lifestyle. We want to make sure that Brisbane is the city of choice. I know we've heard tonight about a few of our uh, very talented people heading overseas. We hope that they come back as well um, and spread the word about how wonderful it is to work and live in Brisbane as well. We know that the strength and quality of this city's creative life is a major contributor to its livability, its economic sustainability and the potential for innovation as well. So we really do want to be a premier location for creative talent. We want to be able not only to develop your careers, but so you can stay here and you can raise your families and realise your potential here in Brisbane as well. So we're very proud to promote and recognise the talents. This is our fourth year, I think, on sponsoring the Matilda Awards, maybe fifth year. And it is tonight about recognising your amazing contributions that you make to Brisbane as a city as well. 30 years is a big achievement. Rosemary, you have to be congratulated on that. I think Brisbane tonight has truly shaken off its big country town tag and a large part of that can be contributed to the people that are sitting here in this amphitheatre tonight. Thank you for the work you do on making us such a creative and sustainable city. I'd like to congratulate all the nominees as well as those who won awards tonight. Another big thank you to Rosemary and then I get to announce the best new Australian work. And the nominees are Bastard Territory, Stephen Carlton. St Mary's in Exile, David Burton. The Wider Earth, David Morton. And Viral by Sam Foster and Hayden Jones. And the Lord Mayor's Award for the best new Australian work goes to Bastard Territory, Stephen Carlton. Oh. 